Hello, 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 Aphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time, it's on Dula Peep and Miley Cyrus. So, I want to know if they're actually beefing or not. The stands are torn. Some of them are saying they're beefing and avoiding each other. Some are saying they are not beefing and whatever. It's like this big debate. So, recently, Dula Peep released an, uh, a music video for her song, Illusion. Um, and there's a picture or a scene in there where she's kind of copying or mimicking Miley Cyrus's album cover for Endless Summer Vacation, which is interesting because I had just recently said on one of my live streams that Dula Peep's radical optimism name is giving Endless Summer Vacation and the like water vibes were giving Endless Summer Vacation as well for like the um, visuals that she was doing for the album. And everyone rolled their eyes, and now she did this. I'm like, girl, Miley's on your mind. So is it a friendly homage? Is it copying? All I know is Dula Peep's songs are not doing that well. This album is kind of, so far, kind of been flopping, and she's been struggling with her aesthetic. So I'm like, are they beefing? Is she copying her? What's going on in Miss Dula's career? Is Miley bothered? We're going to look at it. So remember, these readings are all Legend Frontier Bros only, and let's get started. Remember, if you guys like these, you can join my YouTube members. There's a $5, $10, $15 tier. You get access to exclusive pick cards, story times. You can win a reading from me. Also, I have a second YouTube channel called Amphrodite T, T-E-A, with non-tarot content on there. You might like it. It's linked down below. Check it out. Okay, so Miley on the left, Dua on the right. <gasps> oh, my God. There's – oh, my God. There is beef. I don't know if the girls will be honest about it, though. I don't know if the girls will be honest about it. Well, I feel like they're going to lie and pretend they're besties. So, th so here's what I'm going to say. All Legend Frontier Bros only, you guys are not going to believe me. You're going to think I'm crazy, but there is beef. Um, the Two of Swords is upright. That's Miley Cyrus. That's about separating from someone and never looking back. So that's about her wanting to distance herself from her. So something definitely happened that made Miley pull back and be like, I don't want to fuck with this girl no more. Now, I don't know what happened. And granted, maybe there was a fight and she got over it or she will get over it at some point. Maybe she will get over it at some point. I don't know. But I can tell you at one point in time, if not right now, Miley Cyrus said, was like, fuck you about Dula Peep. She was like... Wash my hands clean of you. I don't like you. Something happened. The Seven of Wands reverse, which says Dula Peep is not an underdog and cannot prove herself. And with the Five of Pentacles, which is about having power over someone, that to me is snake behavior. So Miley Cyrus feels like Dula Peep told someone something she shouldn't have or was in someone someone's ear. I see gossiping. I see girls giggling and gossiping, which means that something she told Dua was told to someone else or Dua was in someone else's business. I just see her being like, this girl is like not to be trusted. There's something to do with Dula Peep being like, like not loyal. Like I'm seeing like her be like, she's not loyal. Like it's almost like claiming someone's not a girl's girl. Like, it's just, she's saying, it's like if you tell Dula something, she might tell someone else. It's like Dula's loyalty doesn't lie with you. She It lies with someone else or maybe even herself. And I'm also seeing her feel like she, there's, oh, there's something else going on here. Um, There feels like, it feels like somebody that Dula Peep is working with or has worked with in the industry. Miley is like, I don't like that. It's almost like, it's like, it's like, why are you working with that person? Why are you doing that with that person? Like, what are you doing? Like, is it really worth it? There's some sort of underhanded thing that she was doing when it came to like, because I, I see Dula Peep being very much like, some people might consider her a sneak. Some people might consider her doing whatever it takes to be successful. But I just see that as, as Miley just being like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, where's your your integrity that's the word it's like she has no integrity it's like she's willing to do whatever makes her popular um the queen of cups diverse the nine of cups upright and the judgment cards reverse now this is what's interesting the judgment card is weird it's about embarrassment and a group of people and the queen of cups diverse with the knight of cups which tells me that miley is almost feeling like Dua's is trying to fit in with people she shouldn't try to fit in with 
And I just see Miley being like very Sagittarian of her. I'm actually not sure what Dua's sign is. But I just see Miley being like, I don't really want to be in the cool kids club. I don't really want to impress these people. I don't really want to do all of this. It's almost like it's like Dua is the type of person who would like sell people out to like get in with the cool kids or some shit like that or is like the cool kid. And Miley's just like, that's not who I am. That's just not who I am. I think Miley looked at it as one of those things where it's like, oh, this can't be a friendship. It has to be business with you. Like, some, it's almost like Miley got the ick because the people that Dua was hanging around and trying to impress, it's a group of people. The judgment, it's like, these are not the right, these aren't the good people. I also feel like a lot of the so I do think that there are going to be more accusations coming forward about Dula Peep copying people. I know uh, Illuminate or what is it? Illusion sounds like Hallucinate. And a lot of her songs that came out, they're not doing that as well as her last ones. And her songs all sound the same. No shade. Um, but I do think more people are going to come forward about how she's kind of like copying them. I mean, not come forward, but people are going to be talking about how she's like biting off of other artists. The Page of Wands is saying one thing and doing another. The Emperor's Upright and the Ace of Cups. I don't think it's Dua exactly. I think it's people in her ear. So what's happening with Dua is something that happens with a lot of people in the industry that I've noticed. Once you get success, sometimes you get scared to lose it and you start listening to everyone else around you instead of your own artistic vibes and like your own creative energy. And I feel like that's why Miley's like, where's your integrity? Because Dua feels very lost right now. She's lost in the fame game, lost in celebrity, and I don't think she's connecting with her artistic, like, creative side. And I see either a manager, maybe not a manager, but there's just someone at the top that's behind Dua. There's, like, the emperor is a man behind her, the ace of cups, um, someone she values. There's someone behind her who's kind of telling her, like, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this. And Whoever it is, I don't know if it's a songwriter, a producer, I don't know if it's a label executive, I don't know what it is. Whoever it is, it could even be a boyfriend. I don't know what it is. All I can tell you is there's someone behind her who's giving her advice that is not only horrible, not only fucking horrible, but it's also like, it's also stuff that would be considered copying. Like, for instance, Let's say that you're Dula Peep and you're really busy. And so you haven't seen every single um, music video that's been out yet. But your manager or the person you're working with has. And they go, oh, Dula, you know what would be really cool? If you wore, um, you know, uh, if you wore all black and came out of the water, I think that would be so cool. And then she'd be like, wait, that's a really good idea. And then... She does it and it goes out to the public and all of a sudden it's like Jojo Siwa just made a music video about that. Do you see what I mean? So it's almost like she's kind of being set up, not necessarily intentionally to make her fail, but it's almost like she's listening to everyone else and other people are, don't really know. So they're just coming up with ideas that they've seen. And so I don't think this 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 picture right here, I don't think that's really what the case is. I think this is more of like something else. But what I do think is I think artistically and musically, we're going to see more, more of this where it's kind of like, it's kind of like she's being dispensed really bad advice and she's not... I think it's I think it's one of those things where sometimes an artist is not on the pulse of society and right now she's out of touch with reality. This happens a lot again, this happens a lot with artists after they get massively successful. She's no longer like she's not a regular person anymore, right? She's a massive successful le I almost said lesbian. Celebrity um <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> you want to tell us I'm do it. Uh it's given Taylor, just kidding. Um no, but uh she it's she's out of touch because she's just so famous, right? And so it's almost like she's on vacation. So she's not really in touch with what's cool right now or hip. Um, anyways, the death card is reversed, the eight of pentacles and the knight of swords. I just think she has a lot of shady people working for her. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I think that they're gonna try and salvage what they have by doing some some weird practices to get the, the sales up, the numbers up, the streams up. Um just so they can save face. Um, I can tell you right now, the label is very mad. I know they're not gonna admit this, but people behind the scenes are extremely pissed off that her songs aren't doing numbers. 
Um, I even think that they've had conversations with her about getting into drama. The King of Swords, Nine of Wands, and Four of Cups is reverse, which tells me someone is very adamant about pushing her to get into beef. Uh, Nine of Wands is walk on eggshells. The Four of Cups is attachment. She's not interested in doing that because she's just kind of chilling and relaxing. But they're absolutely trying to get her into problems and beef to drum up publicity. Um, that is absolutely something that her team is is trying to get her to do. Um, the Knight of Wands, they're almost trying to get her, they're trying to bait her. They're trying to bait her. I think she needs to be very careful about the promotion that she does for this album because some questions will be approved or put in her way that her team is purposely setting up to make her look controversial. She's going to be asked certain questions that are kind of shady. And if she's not smart enough, she will answer them and fall into the trap. Yes, it will be good for a promotion cycle, but you are going to get put into drama. Seven of Cups reverse and King of Wands also tells me um, that uh, I think a lot of her visuals that she initially had got scrapped or the idea got scrapped. I think someone put the fear of God in her. It feels almost like do is like, I want to do this. This is my idea. I see them letting her do it. And then I see someone be like, it's not doing well, do it. It's not doing well, do it. We should redo it. We should redo it. I'm telling you, I have a bad feeling about this. We should redo it. And I see her being like, okay, fine and redoing everything instead of sticking to her guns. So there's some sort of scrap things. I'm seeing like Beyonce and her scrap visuals. Her scrap, her concept got scrapped. Um, but I feel like she was willingly going along with it because she's listening to everyone else instead of herself. Um, the Lover's Card Diverse, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. There's someone here. Who is that? Oh my God. Why do all roads lead to her? Okay. The lover's card reverse, the queen of swords is upright, and the king of pentacles. So this has to do with business. Okay. This is dirty business. Okay. And this is someone with a vendetta against people who do dirty business. Okay. And it's a queen of swords. And the six of pentacles is reversed, okay, which is the breaking of a contract or commitment. The three of pentacles is an issue with your job. And the queen of wands, again, we're looking at potential fire sign here, but the queen of wands is queen of wands, queen of wands is misguided aggression. I don't know who the fuck uh, Dua is friends with or has worked with, but you are not going to get me to believe that that is anybody other than Miss Swift. That is Taylor Swift. You can tell me I'm crazy. You can tell me I'm lying. Now, does that mean that Taylor Swift hates her? No, but it does mean that she worked with somebody that has, or is around somebody that has bad omen on them. I look at Taylor as like the kiss of death and I feel like she's worked with or been around someone who has like the kiss of death. I don't see it as Taylor being like, I don't like this girl. I want to get her. I don't see Taylor as being like, oh, this girl's a threat. I don't see Taylor as being like, um, don't work with her or whatever. I see it as Taylor telling people, well, I don't even see think Taylor says it. I think it's just people in the industry have known people that have screwed over Taylor. And because they like Taylor so much, they don't work with people that have done that to Taylor if they can avoid it. And people that do work with or do are friends with or do connect with people like that, they tend to pull back from. So again, it's not necessarily like they're sabotaging Dua. It's more like we're not going to go out of our way to make sure her album does really well because we don't really like the way you're moving. It's almost like Dua chose the wrong side. So that's why it's feeling like you're aligning yourself with like the enemy and so it's very divided where it's like, that's why I said all roads lead to Taylor. It's like, it's like 
they're just not going to help you the way they were. The support is not going to be the way it was. You're on your own. And I think what we're seeing is like Dua doing things on her own. It's like you, you've only just got your big record. You only just popped off like majorly. You know, you're not like Beyonce where everything you put out is gold, you know, and you have that giant fan base. So it's like you may have prematurely done this. And I, I don't think Dua knew what she was getting into because I'm not seeing Dua as a very catty person. I'm not seeing her as a malicious person. I see her lost in fame. I see her lost in the industry and I see her being used by other people in the industry. Um, the Empress is Upright, the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit's Reverse, which says that she was people's cash cow um and they were they're gonna milk her for all they they can i don't think that she's gonna fade into irrelevancy because there's still so much money to be made off of dua so i think she's pretty much here to stay um and I, but i do think they're gonna try and find a new niche for her um i think they're kind of just trying to find her new sound try to find her new look and where the internet will fall in love with her um i think they're just trying to find a new new like air avenue it's almost like like when there's like like, you know, TikTok was big and there's always like, there's going to be a new social media soon, I'm sure. And it's like trying to find something that caters. Like some people do well on TikTok, some people do well on Twitter and Instagram, and maybe the new social media people will do better on. Cause I know Dua doesn't do well on TikTok. Maybe there'll be a new social media she'll do better on, but that's kind of the metaphor I'm getting at. It's like, she needs to find her new niche. Um, the two of cups reverse, the higher priestess is reversed and the five of cups. I just think that I don't, I also don't think that Dua is the type of person that is really like hungry for number ones. Um, her energy is very lax. I think she just enjoys having fun and um, meeting people. And I think sometimes, you know what? She, she reminds me of very Gemini-like energy where she's like so busy with her, like making friends in the industry, quote unquote, and so busy like having fun that she's forgetting like the work aspect. Not that she's lazy, but I just think that she needs to be a little smarter um, and a little bit more savvy. Uh, she doesn't seem business savvy or cunning, um, which is like a detriment. Um, I think she might be a little naive sometimes and immature about how big of a threat she could be if she like really centered herself. Um, but yeah, I also think with the two of cups, I think there's some sort of issue with her dating life. I don't know what's going on there. There's something, there's some weird thing about who she dates. I can't figure this out. I actually don't care enough, but I'm trying. String car reverse, page of cops reverse, and four of pentacles reverse. I wonder if they want her in like a fake relationship for cloud or something. Or if they want her to be more like, yeah, I wonder if it's like the, the Taylor Swift effect. You know how when Taylor Swift dates someone, it's everywhere. I'm wondering if they're trying to do that with her and she's just not into it. Yeah. Three of Swords reverse, two of wands, and the chariot. I also think her label feels like she's not taking her work seriously enough. I do feel like that. They're like, you just want to date hot guys and be friends with celebrities. What are you doing? I mean, mood. <laughs> ha! I can't really hate her for that, to be honest, bitch. I do the damn fucking same thing. I'd be like, I'll come out and perform my song. I'm going back on vacation. Come on, Miley, endless summer vacation. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, I think she's kind of just a victim of a lot of different circumstances right now. She's just in her flop era, but I mean, I think she'll get out of it. Um, but I do think she pissed Miley Cyrus off, and I do think Miley don't give a fuck right now. Miley's just kind of like, stay over there, ho. I don't think Miley hates her, but... I don't think Miley liked the side of her that she saw. I keep seeing Gemini, so that means that there's another side to do it that people have seen and they don't like. So hopefully this was interesting. If not, I'm sorry. I know you're not going to believe me, but let me tell you something. When it comes true, you know where you heard it here first, okay? Or you know where you heard it first here, right? Bitch, whatever. Um, join the YouTube members, okay? Bye. Girl, I did not expect any of that tea to spill. The fuck?